And today I want to work with, if I can get it, something new. This is the Fly a Kite 6x6 paper pad by my mind's eye. And it is in the store now. So let's see. I'll just work with this first one. I really like these stripes. And let's see. Let's go with a card base that's craft. And I would like one piece of paper that kind of matches. Let's see. This one. Okay, I like the lighter blue. And I'm not sure what I'm making yet, but we'll see when it comes out. I'm going to cut this strip two and a half inches by five and a half inches. That fits across my card. And then this one I'm going to cut so I have a little bit showing here at the bottom. So we'll do five and a half inches and three and a quarter inches. We'll see how that looks on here. Okay, that's good. I have some showing there. Okay. Oops, I ran into something. Let me grab some ink and some stamps and I'll be back. a second. So what I grabbed, I grabbed Bold Sentiments number one, and I grabbed some Candy Hearts, and Artsy Heartsy. I think I might work with the Artsy Heartsy. I need some white paper. Flip it over this way. This is just a scrap of white paper I've been stamping on a little bit. working with blue, I guess I want to keep going with the blue on here. I'm going to stamp some of these hearts on this background using matching ink. So Stampin' Up! calls their craft paper crumb cake and now they have a matching ink. So I'm going to just stamp this along my card. that one a little bit. Yeah. We're going to start over and grab another card base because I didn't like that one. I missed the ink on one of them and it looked kind of bad. Let's start from the beginning. I don't know how much it's going to show here at the bottom, but some hearts across the bottom. Okay. I've got a little pattern in the background so it's not just plain old craft paper. And then I wanted to do one or two accent hearts. You can pull colors from that pattern paper. You can go with red, orange, and green, I guess. Okay, so I grabbed pumpkin pie, real red, and old olive. I'm just choosing colors from that. I'll put this craft one up. I'll just trim out really quick. There's my orange one. This one's going to be my red one. For my green one, I'll do this patterned one.
Okay, so I've got my three hearts going. Let's see, I've got an exacto knife. I'm just going to trim these out. I've used my exacto knife in videos before. Basically, I just hold it like a pencil. I'm a lefty, so it's backwards from what you guys are going to do. I just go around. It sometimes can be tricky around the curvy spots. I just work my way around the design really quick. Pretty soon I will have cut files for these hearts. I'm just slowly making my way through um, all the SP and Company stamps to design the cut files that match. So each stamp that comes out is going to have cut files to go with it now. But the older ones, you're going to have to wait a little bit so I can catch up with the cut files. When I'm done cutting these out, I just want to line them up um, in a row of three. And for some reason, and I don't know why, but when you line things up in sets of three or have three embellishments clustered together, it looks really pleasing to the eye. And I don't know why, but I mean, in every art or graphic design class I've had, you know, they always talk about the rule of threes. Okay, so we've got three hearts. I want to just set them onto the striped paper. If I can pick them up. Okay, so they'll be across the paper like that. And I'm going to assemble some of these layers. Oops. Hitting the tripod. Sorry, guys. I just want a little bit of the layer showing up here at the top. The majority showing here at the bottom. So I want to stamp my sentiment across this bottom part. Buttercup. And I'll get these hearts on. I want to use. Oops, I dropped some. Paper. I want to use a Stampin' Dimensional, which is just Stampin' Up's version of pop dots or foam squares, 3D squares, any of those things. Just little foam adhesives. I'm designing things in threes. I like to put the middle one down first. 
then I know kind of, you know, halfway on the paper, because I stuck the middle one down, and then I don't have as much trouble doing the next two. I always start at one end, I always mess up, and the middle one's way off center, and one side will have way more space than the other side. Okay. Keep that. I think this one needs to be further over just a little bit. Okay. So there you have it. There's my little finished card, and it took, oh my gosh way over 10 minutes okay so I think next week um, this segment's gonna have a new title and it's gonna be called 10 minute cards because um, I'm going way over time and it's probably because I talk too much but we'll see <laughs>